Now, campaigning is intensifying in Sabah as polling day draws near. Both sides of the political divide are pledging to uphold integrity and many are calling for an anti-party hopping law. But as Melissa Goh reports, the practice has become part of the Malaysian state's political culture. Sabahans love their politics. Candidates as young as 21 are contesting for the first time in this high-stake state election, with some seats seeing up to 10 corner fights. Now, it's a super crowded fight with more than 440 candidates from over 10 political parties vying for the 73 state seat. Now, although former Chief Minister Musa Aman isn't contesting after his failed coup to unseat Shafi Abdal, his brother Anifa Aman, Malaysia former foreign minister's party Chinta Saba is contesting in every seat by fielding young candidates below the age of 40 in up to 40 percent of the seats. Although he is associated with the old regime led by ex-ruling party AMNO, Mr Anifa said his party Chinta Saba will not tolerate money politics and party hopping must end. Politics is a dirty word now, you know. Don't you think so? Because you're a politician, so you must be some, some dirty person. You know, I don't want to be called frogs. You know. Even the president of Homeland Solidarity Party, Jeffrey Kittingan, labelled by some as the king of political frogs after he had crossed party lines five times, has called for some sort of anti-party hopping law. It's a bad culture. We should have an anti-hop law, uh, some variation uh, that doesn't go against the, the, the constitution of free association. Meanwhile, political veteran like Masidi Manjun, former tourism minister of Sabah, who's now joined Party Bursatu, argued it's simply a question of pragmatism to switch support to the winning side. I look at it not so much of principle, but pragmatism to a certain extent. I mean, like in Saba, I think the, the, the overriding consideration is still the, the politics of development. And they want to make sure that they don't lose out. Also in Saba, Mr. Masidi said it's not unusual to find relatives on both sides of the political divide. When both sides feel there is a mutual benefit that can be done with creating new alliances, I believe there will be new alliances. Voters in Sabah said they are used to political treachery and they will be assessing each candidate's track record before casting their votes on Saturday. Orang mau tengok dia macam mana dia kekal, nah, susah, senang, gitu. Dia nak lompat-lompat. Itu memang biasa lah berlaku di Sabah tu. Incumbent Chief Minister Shafi Abdal, whose term was cut short due to the defection of his assemblyman, urged voters to reject political treachery and vote decisively. Apa nilai kita mertabat kita orang Sabah ini seratus ringgit kah? Apa nilai kita orang Sabah ini dua ratus ringgit? With more than 150,000 of the total 1.1 million registered voters in Sabah said to be working in the peninsula, Mr Shafi may have his work cut out to ensure a high turnout on polling day. This amid heightened border security as well as a surge in COVID-19 cases. Melissa Goh, CNA, Kota Kinabalu, Sabah.